Hi everyone, I'm Denise O'Malley, the founder of Udefine Wellness, and welcome back to another episode within the Defining Wellness Confab. If you've been following you along, you know what I'm doing is I'm introducing you over an eight day period of time, actually 11 days, but we're taking some time off in the middle, but I'm introducing you to 53 health and wellness experts that are in my tribe that and that'll be in 49 sessions check youtube for a list of all the ones hey follow us on youtube and just search for you define wellness in the youtube search bar but this is where i get to tell you a little bit about you define wellness because a lot of people don't know about us we've been around since 2016 but we're really getting traction right now at the essence of what we are is we are a network of hundreds of health and wellness professionals across the United States and we are growing. And one of the things that's different about us is that when they join our provider network, we're actually vetting them. We're doing a criminal background investigation. We're looking at their licenses. We're seeing if there's any disciplinary actions or stipulations against them and we're checking their reputation. So you know that at least somebody has looked at them. They haven't just paid us a fee and slapped on there as there are so many other directories on the internet. And with that network of health and wellness professionals, we can bring to you products, including an employee benefit plan for the workplace, a catalog of health and wellness education speakers, great for lunch and learns, community groups, and um, even schools. If you are looking for a health and wellness educator, we've got them. And starting this week, we have uh, something for individuals, self-employed, retirees, those not covered on our plan at the workplace, called the Healthy Living Savings Card, and it's offered as a discount through um, August 1st. So if you are interested in being able to have a means to receive discounts on the health and wellness services of your choice, we have, it's only a one-time fee, so check it out. It's half price right now. And all you have to do is just go to our website at udefinedwellness.com. But the most important thing about what we're doing with this network of health and wellness professionals is we're, we're finding ways to give back to the community. And one is the formation of a nonprofit organization that we are tentatively calling the Holistic Healing Workplace Crisis Support Team. Here's why it's important. When there's a crisis in the workplace, you know, in Colorado, we're not immune to all these mass shootings that have taken place. You know, the, and the people behind it, the people affected by it are told to bring in the counselors, and that's great, but we know it's not enough because trauma, physical trauma, emotional trauma, trauma will reside in the body. And if left untreated, it's going to manifest days, weeks, months, years later. So we can bring in a team of experts. Yes, the counselors and the psychotherapists, but we have brought in already to some um, organizations that we've been called into, we've brought in acupuncturists, energy healers, massage therapists, and more. So if you are so inclined and you are interested in helping support the formation of this and getting it out into the community, we are inviting donations. All you have to do is go to paypal.me backslash you to find wellness. But you're here to hear something from one of our experts, and I am pleased to introduce to you Susan Golisic. I know I was going to get that wrong, and I am so glad to have you with me. Thank you for coming on board, Susan, and I am looking forward to hearing what you have to say on Adventure, Your Passport to Inspired Living. Thanks, Denise. I am going to share my PowerPoint presentation, so hopefully you can see that. Um, so I'm going to be talking about adventure. Uh, in the theme of being the director of your own wellness, uh, my business is really built on building your wellness and your inspired life through adventure. And so first, I'm going to, uh, I'd like to really thank Denise and you Define Wellness. It's a fantastic organization. I'm so proud to be a part of this organization because really one of the things that we want to do at my company, Uninhibited Wellness, is to expose more people to all aspects of wellness because it's up to you to figure out what works for you. You define your own wellness. Um, and so we are part of that mission. And I wanna tell you a little bit about um, me first um, because I love adventure. I love to talk about adventure and part of that stems from the fact that I am an adventurer and always have been. So I'm a big advocate for adventure for all people. Um, this shows a lot of the different things I've been involved in in my life. And the most recent adventure is the actual photo of the x-ray, which is my left leg and the lovely break and the metal that's in my leg holding it together. Um, this has been an adventure in and of itself. 
And it's something that I wanted to recognize because um, it's enabled me to grow a lot. It's enabled me to do things as all adventure does. Um, and I have looked at this as an adventure also. There's risk, and we'll talk about that, but um, it's part of the whole aspect of adventure. So um, first, let's talk about what adventure is. Uh, so I'm, a, I'm also a professor on the side of being a wellness advocate and coach. Um, and so I always like to know, okay, what are the common definitions? What are people going to think of when they hear a word? Uh, and so adventure, if you actually look up the definition, it's an unusual and exciting, possibly hazardous experience or activity, a daring and exciting activity calling for enterprise and enthusiasm. And it's to engage in hazardous and exciting activity, especially the exploration of unknown territory. The origins of the word are Latin, and it means arrive. Um, and it's rooted in something happening that helps us arrive at a destination. And that's, that's kind of why we embraced adventure as a means to wellness and, and getting to your inspired life, because adventure helps you arrive where you're going, it really does help move you forward. It's a catalyst for change. And, and that's why we focus a lot of what we do on adventure. And I, I really feel that adventure is amazingly important in everyone's life. There are different perceptions out there of what adventure is. Um, some people really believe it has to be something huge, something expensive involving travel um, and things that maybe on a day-to-day -day basis you can't get involved in. And, and that's, that's not necessarily true. Uh, adventure can be grand, but it can also be micro. You can take an adventure after work. Um, it can be really expensive. I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. That was a very costly adventure. But it can be really inexpensive. You don't have to spend a dime. You could literally go for a walk in a park you've never been in before after work. All it takes is your time and then maybe a little bit of gas to get there, unless of course you ride your bike or just walk there. Um, what it really is, is it's just doing something out of the ordinary, out of your ordinary. Uh, it helps you push boundaries because if you do something out of the ordinary, you're, you're pushing your comfort zone. We have our daily routines, but then if you try something different that takes you out of your routine, that's an adventure. You may not necessarily think of it as an adventure, but it really is if it's something different. The great thing about adventure is it helps provide feelings of confidence and pride because if you do something different, something out of the ordinary, once you've done it, you always have that experience to go back to and say, hey, I did that. You know, it was something I haven't done before. I pushed myself. I decided to go ahead and try to do that, and I did it. And, and that's a really great result. And so I would encourage you to really think about your perceptions of adventure and are they limited and kind of open that up and, and allow other things to come in. Um, adventure can have risk because when you do something out of the ordinary, you never know what could happen. Uh, risk is the possibility that something unpleasant could happen. An adventure comes with uncertainty because you don't necessarily know when I try this new thing what's going to happen. Um, when I was in Mexico and I was putting an ocean kayak in the water, I've been kayaking before. I've been kayaking before in Mexico. I did not expect a wave to take me down and the kayak on my leg and break my leg. But it was a risk because anytime you try something new, something could happen. Essentially, we're not in control of everything, and, and that's okay. Um, I really believe that even though there is risk when you do something adventurous, there's bigger risk if you avoid adventure. If you avoid adventure and you don't push your, your boundaries, you don't stretch your comfort zone, you just stay in your routine, you're really limiting the possibility of how you can grow in your life, how you might find more joy, how you might accomplish more things. Uh, so I, I really believe it's important that we all be willing to take a little risk and do something that's adventurous and do something adventurous pretty frequently. So I wanna talk about some of the impacts being a, a professor um, I've done a lot of studies 
um, on adventure. And I've read a lot of studies because there's a tremendous number of studies out there talking about the positive impacts of adventure and how it can help us move forward in our life. Um, one of the great things is we all face challenges in our life. Um, and oftentimes, if they're pretty big challenges, we can sometimes feel overwhelmed. We can sometimes feel like, oh my gosh, this is an obstacle. I just don't think I can overcome. An adventure actually helps us reframe that uh, as opposed to being an obstacle that I can't necessarily get over. Adventure has us look at things as if, well, that's a challenge, but I think if I try this, I can overcome it. Because our history is that if we try something new and it's successful, our bodies remember that. We remember that, oh, I did this and it worked out pretty well, or I did this and it didn't work out exactly as I expected, but it still had a pretty good outcome. And so when we approach things as I have this challenge and I'm going to tackle it and, and I'm going to go through it as an adventure, I'm going to try something new, it helps change that perception and helps us to take those steps to move forward. It gives us more courage because adventure involves facing uncertainty, which is normally paired with facing fear. And so as we face fears and we get through them, even if it doesn't turn out exactly the way we hope to, we can still say, wow, I still faced it. I still faced that fear. And so that gives us more and more courage over time to continue to try to face new fears as we go through these things. Uh, it can help you feel more empowered and confident because as you're able to tackle adventures in life and view those adventures as such and then overcome the different obstacles and challenges you feel more empowered every time you remember I was able to do that I was able to do that I tried this and that happened you feel more empowered to continue to try to take those next few steps forward um, adventure's been shown to actually help you appreciate more in your life, um, especially if you have an adventure and it didn't turn out exactly the way you expected it, you'll sometimes look back on, well, what aspect of it did come out really well? Um, so I had some rough times in recovering from my broken leg and there were times when I thought, gosh, what if I hadn't tried to put that kayak in the water and I had just sat um, up in the, the sitting area with everyone else that afternoon instead of trying to go on this adventure. Um, but one of the, you know, I learned several things from that. Um, I learned more about myself, my capacity to handle tough things. I was able to have the time to write a book. Um, I have solidified some of the relationships I have even more. Um, I've met some new amazing people because of it, because you know, if you, if you have a broken leg and you're wearing a big cast, people come up and ask you what's, what happened. Um, so I've been really appreciative of all of the benefits that have come out of it. Um, and, and especially the growth that I've had in my life. It, as I mentioned about relationships, it helps improve relationships. It helps those relationships grow, especially if you adventure with people because you're tackling these things together and you're bonding while you're going through those kinds of things. And it does help heal wounds and change old beliefs. And this is a big piece of wellness. No matter what kind of aspect of wellness that you're going through, we all have these old beliefs and we all carry old wounds within us. And if you go through adventure and you learn, I am brave enough to do this and I can tackle my fears and, and you start to really feel like, wow, you know, I, I have this confidence and I am this great person and, and it helps you change any limiting beliefs you may have had in your past. The idea is that adventure moves you closer to your inspired life. Everyone wants to live inspired. Everyone wants to be inspired and everyone would like to feel like they are an inspiration to others. Family members, kids, significant others, friends, etc. We all want that and we want to feel like we're making a difference in people's lives and living in our passion and our purpose. An adventure can help you do that. So how do you get more adventure in your life if you feel like you're not getting enough? And, and what I would encourage you to do is just think about, you know, what, what would your life look like 
with more adventure in it, even if it was small adventures that you try to do once a week or something like that. Um, life is an adventure and it'd be great to approach it as such. You know, we, we have our routine, right? We, every day we, we get up and we do certain things and we work, whether we work at home or we go to an office, et cetera. And we, we have those and we have the errands we have to run and the responsibilities and all that kind of stuff. Um, but even the routines don't always go as planned, right? Different things happen because we just don't know on any given day. And approaching it as each day is an adventure, even if it's going to look a lot like yesterday, there's still going to be some new things that can occur and or some new things that I can inject into that. Maybe for lunch, instead of doing the normal thing, maybe I'm going to share lunch with someone I've not shared lunch with before, or maybe I'm going to go take a walk in a place where I've not been before. There's a lot of little things that you could do that would just put a little bit more adventure into your life and can then start to give those positive impacts for you. So one thing you can do is adopt an adventure mindset, this attitude that, okay, every day, I'm going to try to do something a little bit differently, something a little bit new, because you may find that <clears throat> I've had this old routine. I've tried this now. I want to make that my new routine. I think I like that a little bit better. Um, try doing something for the first time. And again, these can be pretty simple. Um, even if you don't do this very often, I'd encourage you make the commitment this weekend. Do something new for the first time. I try to do this as frequently as possible just because I want to get out and I want to stretch my boundaries. I want to see, I might find something new that I didn't know I liked to do and now I do. My fallback uh, when I wanted to relieve stress in the past has always been go for a run. I'm a big runner. Well, for the past five months, that has not been an option. Um, I just got cleared to run, so I'm excited about that, but I haven't been able to run. I had to figure out some new things. My physical therapist kept saying, you need a hobby. You need to get a new hobby. And so I decided, all right, I'm going to start trying things. I'm going to start making things. I started making signs. I started painting. I, I decided I'm going to try all kinds of things. And as it turns out, there are a couple things I tried that I really enjoy doing. And now I want to continue doing those things. So it can introduce you to something that you might really, really love. It can help to get an adventure buddy. We all like to have a partner in crime. And, and if you find somebody that, that you really like to do stuff with, and it doesn't even have to be the same adventure buddy for different adventures. If you like to go hiking and you have someone who likes to go hiking new places, that could be your hiking buddy. And, and you, know, you, can, you can do different things with different people. Uh, and sometimes having that connection can really help both of you have the courage and the confidence to then try new things and go forward. Uh, another possibility is go on an adventure trip. The cool thing about adventure trips is that you can go somewhere and have adventure, but you don't have to do a lot of the planning. Whoever is doing the adventure trip does the planning for you and you just have to be there and participate and participate in whatever you're comfortable with. And so that can be a great way to get more adventure as well. And those can range from a day trip to a, a week or even more. And that just depends on what you really need for you, what you like to do, what you might like to try, et cetera. Um, and so the bottom line is when I ask you to think about what would your life look like with more adventure? Well, your life would be more inspired. You'd probably be more excited, probably have more joy. You'd, you'd have a lot of those benefits and the impacts that I mentioned that you can get from adventure. So I really encourage you to think about that and, and make the commitment. Do something as soon as possible, something new, try different things, and, and maybe even make it a goal every week or even every day. I'm gonna try even something little, something new, or I'm gonna go somewhere new on vacation or whatever. Um, I mentioned adventure trips, and there are numerous ones out there. You can search on volunteer vacations, adventure retreats, all that kind of stuff. They're meant to get you out of your comfort zone, whether it's the place you go or activities you do or the people you might meet or work with. Um, if you love yoga, there's all kinds of different yoga retreats. And maybe the yoga you're used to, but where it is, is something completely different. Um, or whatever activities you love. 
Our business does adventure retreats because we really believe in them. We believe it's a great way to get you out of your comfort zone just because you're not even at home in your daily routine. I mean, we do them in different locations. You can find them all over the place if there's a particular place you'd like to go. The whole point of an adventure trip or retreat is that you get to focus on you. And this is where that wellness and growth comes in because you're actually spending the time working on what works for you, working on your own growth, working on pushing your own boundaries to your comfort level. And they, these can be a great way, um, especially if you're not quite sure how to put adventure in your life. Something like this could really kind of kickstart that process and get you thinking about how you might be able to do that. So I know this was a pretty quick overview of adventure and the impacts that it has. Um, I can share more information if you wanted to get in touch specifically with me. Um, we are offering, our business is offering bonus gifts, which could include free coaching sessions or discounts on adventure trips for any confab attendees if you schedule a consultation with us. So all you have to do is schedule a consultation with us and we'll talk to you about what we offer and we will offer you some bonus gifts if you're interested in anything we do. We're also offering attendees a 20% discount on the book, Adventure, Your Passport to Inspired Living. That's the book that I wrote while I was on my recovery adventure. Uh, and it's a nice, easy, quick read. And it's got, the, it's based on the information I presented today with a lot more detail from some of the research and different ways to get adventure with lots of different stories of people that have been on adventures and the benefits it's given them. And then if you need to contact me, my information is right there, my email, and uh, uninhibitedwellness.com is our website, and a shortcut is uw.coach. And so I want to really thank you for attending this session and uh, listening to, it, to my uh, talk about adventure. I really hope you get out there and adventure more. And Denise and You Define Wellness, again, I really want to thank you for the adventure you've given all of us to pursue our wellness, whatever that looks like for each individual. Oh, thank you. And thank you for that presentation. I, it was great. And I appreciate it. I wrote all these comments down uh, during the, your presentation. And then you addressed all of them. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I, I um, wanted to talk about, and, and from what I experience in the world, and comments people make to me is, I'd really like to do blank, but I don't want to do it alone. And we've done it with surveys at, at the workplace and asked employees, why don't you do certain things? And it's one of the big ones that comes out is that, oh, you know, I really, I really wish my husband would do it with me, but he won't, so I, I don't. And so you address the fact of finding your buddies. Um, yeah. And, and thank you for doing that. Uh, I know, I'm sure there's a, a you know, how you go about finding your buddies is something that could be an entire conversation in yeah. and of itself. You know, there are meetup groups, groups for people who want to find a buddy to go hiking together. And I know we've talked about doing that within you to find wellness of just saying, Hey, we're going to have a meetup. We're going to all meet at this trailhead who wants to go. And so that you're hiking together and, or whatever. But one of the things that came out of it, I have an idea for a book for you. Okay. <laughs> Um, and, and I played with this and you take it with it or not. And if not, somebody watching this might steal it too, but something about adventure starts in your backyard. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, I love the fact that you talked about, uh, ways to incorporate in adventure and, and for those who are watching this and are afraid to step out and do it, it could be as simple as taking a different route to work. Yep. And it could be as simple as, hey, you want to take the kids to go get ice cream? Go find an ice cream shop across town mm -hmm. and, and, and explore a new neighborhood in the area. Um, there's so many different things that you can do. And you've inspired me. Oh, excellent. I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, I need to incorporate more adventure into my life as well. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, there actually is a book. Um, it's Alistair Humphreys. He's written two. He's written one on grand adventures because he cycled around the world. Um, but he also wrote one called micro adventures and it's specifically geared at, you know, 
how can you just go out after work and and he happens to live in the UK but he even talked about I would just leave work and I'll get on the train and I'll take it to a new town that I've never been to and I'll walk around and then I'll get back on the train and go home. Uh, you know, so you're right. It can be something super simple. Yeah. It, I mean, it doesn't have to be that grand adventure. I think a lot of people have that in their mind when they hear the word adventure is, right. Oh my gosh, it's going to take so much time. I've got to plan it and I don't have the money for it. And it, right. it's rarely about not having the time because you can, incorporate and venture in in your normal day-to-day -day activities right and right fun. and you don't have to jump out of an airplane if you really don't want to that's a possible adventure for some people but that's not, yeah that doesn't that doesn't have to be an adventure well that's one i'd like to do but <laughs> I, I, I would too it's gonna happen <laughs> we're gonna have to go skydiving sometime okay today. that sounds hey we could be uh skydiving buddies well, I actually want somebody to be my buddy who's actually done the skydiving before. <laughs> I intend to have a, a jump master strapped to my back. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to share uh, her contact information one last time because this is a lady that you got to need to contact. She's got some great deals for you that, oops. Um, well, that was interesting. It's not wanting to share. So I'm going to brief, let's try that one more time because I'm just, you know, hey, do it over and over and oh, over again. There. I saw it flash up for a sec. There it is. Yeah. Do you see it now? Yay. Um, technology and um, Denise are not actually working very well together right now. So you guys need to reach out to her, get her a copy of her book. It just came out. So you'll be one of the first probably 100, 200 to get a copy of this book, right? Yes. Absolutely. Give her a call, go to her website, uh, check out what Susan has going on. I appreciate um, you being on this call with me today. Thank you very much for taking time out. This was a fun, fun um, conversation for us to have. Thanks, and enjoy the rest of the confab. I know I will. Yeah, and for all of you watching, hey, remember, go to YouTube and put You Define Wellness in the search bar, and you will come up with our YouTube channel. We've got all these presentations from the confab that we're uploading. We're trying to get them on at, within a day of it, but we also have a whole bunch of interviews on there and other content that you might want to take advantage of. So thank you for being here, and we appreciate you.